so here we are <laughs> finally 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 they've pretty much finished this junction 10 m6 wow it's took them a while hasn't it wow it's took them a good time if you remember if you've been watching me for quite some time and i did do sort of a roundup of one um i've, I've monitored as as when and when i could and when i could remember about this i've monitored this junction since when the steel beams came and they knocked down the old bridge and built the new bridge and blah 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 this fencing is new this used to be all bushes and well hidden you didn't really know this was here but um I don't know if the residents there's been there's good and bad reports about this but there's been a lot of work and it's took forever to make it and finally my biggest point really is finally they've opened this footpath now if you remember do you remember we used to run across here didn't we and they were knocking down when they were building this and knocking down the old one so this is the line of the new one and the old bridge was on the inside of it was on the inside of the mark yeah and we used to run across there didn't we <laughs> but anyway finally finally the um oh we've got a green light let's cross thank you finally they've opened up the footpath we used to we put a hard hat i've got my cowboy hat on today so i don't need to be in disguise i don't need to be we've got another green light let's cross let's cross now there's plenty of lanes. Let's go on the inside. Let's cross whilst we've got the chance. It's, um, oh, we're on stop. Okay. Let's press the button, see if it makes a difference. There's lots of lanes. That's a bus only lane. Isn't it nice to be able to cross? Now, my point, what I was going to say, now I can't imagine many people using this footpath, but this, foot access has been shut for a, an ordinary long time you can imagine when they were working and that and whatever but it took them ages if somebody regularly walked this path they've been locked out for I'd say two or three years uh, they, they put no attempt of we've got a green light let's cross they put no attempt in trying to keep the path open it was shut until they decided to open it. But they've done a, a lovely, it's a fantastic job. We might take a walking down there. The gate is open. Yeah. They told us there was gonna be a pool here, which I guess catches the, the water from the road. There's lots and lots of lanes. Do you remember this is the new bridge? And that's a new bridge. And the old one, see this hump here? This is where the path of the old one went. Yeah, and there's a roads, roads a bit busy now. It's Easter, it's um, April the 1st. It's Monday bank holiday. There's been a fire down the bottom there. There's been a fire down at Junction 9. So it's pretty much Choka, which is sort of normal. Lovely wide path now, isn't there? And now we can come across without being risk of a man coming and saying oi what you doing there get off sons <laughs> but i mean it's been a marvel of engineering at a cost now one of my other biggest bears and questions 78 million quid wait a minute i'll say that again 78 million quid Look at this. Remember, we saw the beams arrive, didn't we? They were in the lay-by. And we chased them, didn't we? We saw them in the dark, and then we went to find them, and then we found some more in the lay-by. So these are those steel beams. And then they put a concrete surface on it, didn't they? And here, we saw them tie it back into the ground. Wow, there's some steel work in there. Wow, there is massive steel works in there, holding that together. And look, when did the Romans end and we're still using Roman common columns? I don't know if they're there because they serve a purpose or they're there because it looks nice. I think possibly a bit of both. 
yeah um it'd be nice for someone to explain to us why it just doesn't go to a wall and we could have saved the cost of building these roman columns here and over there and this side and this side and that probably would have saved a bit of money um this is the m6 this is the m6 north and that's the m6 south and we're on the foot that's where we should be and we're allowed to go oh blimey isn't this nice now isn't it it's much wider i've heard a lot of complaints blue let's see i reckon for this traffic to be like this there's a hold up this m6 north it's got trouble on it really quiet isn't it yeah there's some trouble somewhere but look how wide this is wow and it curves you know because it's like a roundabout it curves although the beams are straight they had to put more beams than they needed because of the of the round the curviness of it but yeah what we can do is amazing isn't it but i can't get over i still can't get over the price oh justify the price i can only think to myself somebody has gorged themselves in profit on this one any government sort of job wow you know um obviously they're not the quickest of payers so probably you put a little bit more on because you know take into account that they take a while to pay you um but 78 million quid wow it's uh, unreal a, an unreal amount of money should we we won't pass at the moment let's go to the corner there see this uh the man remember the man told us there was going to be a pool here and a pool over there the i think it collects all the rainwater and remember we saw the telecoms there's lots of lots of cables and wires now i've been keeping an eye on this sort of not religiously but been keeping an eye on it and there was a few things i saw over there there was um they seemed to put the poles in and then they didn't seem to dig a trench for the cables and then i saw them dig a trench for all the cables that was maybe one slip up and i don't really know what was going on here but you see these posts did anybody ever notice the height of these posts these lamp posts they put the lamp posts in and then sort of one per shift or whatever they were they were replacing them with other ones were they too short or were they too long there was there was something there was something going on with these lamp posts in this area because they put them in and then they changed them they seem to wait forever and a day for the traffic light system whether that was sort of covid and you know supplies and whatever so i'm only guessing there was a massive delay on getting the traffic lights where they were there was temporary lights here forever and do you remember these concrete blocks we looked at them didn't we that's another big cage of steel and whatever wow and again let's go down here a little bit can you see the original line of the motorway and now it's gone really wide and you know I heard, I've seen some complaining that there's too many lanes, it's a bit confusing. At least they've got the space to make the mistake. I mean, it could have been round and narrow, so I'm not really against the space because, you know, just keep away from something in front and expect somebody to make a mistake. So come on, let's press the button and let's get across. Here we are. We're, um, I guess, yeah, we've got green light, cross over gently, thank you, yeah, wow, it's, uh, now we're on the, yeah, we're on the new bridge, do you remember, we did an awful lot of work here, oh, push button, wait for signal, yeah, we got a green light, so come on, let's cross, wow, look at this again, isn't it amazing? 
Isn't it absolutely? Wow, we, we know, don't we? We've seen it. We're sitting on one hell of a chunk of steel. There was a whole load of, of, um, of um, you know, rebar and concrete and a huge big block here wasn't there where the step was. Sometimes very difficult to uh, picture it. Now it's done. But they've done a lovely job. They've landscaped it. I mean, they've had long enough to do a lovely job, but they have done a beautiful job. Looking. See, look over there. Really tidy. Really, it's really good. I'm really impressed. Shall we cross over? Let's continue this uh, footpath over here. Let's press another button. Here we go. See, so wide, wide. Oh, we've got green. We've got green. Let's go. We've got green. We've been lucky with the lights today, haven't we? Yeah. Cross efficiently. Don't dingle about. But at the same time, even though you've got a green light, be, be aware. Be careful. We've got another green light. Let's cross over. Right. And look, look. I don't think we've been on this yet. Well, our first approach is we came down here, we parked and we climbed up the bank hearing, didn't we? We climbed up the bank and we ran across the road, didn't we? Well, it was our first contact with the junction. Wow, it's wide, isn't it? <laughs> they've done, I must say, they've been, um, they've been really, they've tidied up this edge. Look, look at this banking. They've done a really, it looks, well, it is brand new, but I mean, it looks brand new, you know. I don't really know what that means. Is that meant to be there? Does that mean something? Can you see that? Let's look through there. Can you see that on the wall? What is that? Is that something that's meant to be there? Hmm. I can't imagine that being graffiti. Hmm. But they've done and this path has been out of our access for so so long yeah and we were there weren't we and we're watching that concrete block if you remember i wonder if them nuts and bolts are still on the floor <laughs> i should have picked them up but you know we don't do fevery do we it would have been theft anyway up here look wow that's a hell of a box to bridge across and you know, you want it to stay there a long, long time, so it has to be really, really strong. Yes, it's only holding a sign, but it's got to last a long time, hasn't it? Wow. And they've had to deal with this as well, haven't they? And come along here. Yeah. Um, all in all, I think they've done. It's amazing what they've done. We, we we looked at the old bridge, didn't we? It did look old and knackered, and you can imagine it's been hammered. Yeah, how much traffic? I mean, it's fairly light. You come here tomorrow morning on Tuesday after the bank holiday, this whole place is going to be chock a block. And the weight of the trucks coming, pounding round and round and round over the years. Wow, it's got to be a good job because it's got to last, isn't it? Having said that though, the old bridge only lasted 50 years, you know. The motorway had been open 50 years and one of these was the original bridge. So this has been, the bridge has been replaced. So, hmm, did the old bridge last as long as they wanted it to last? Hmm, how long have they put in the books? This is made of steel, so. I'm surprised they haven't painted the steel. Maybe that's a job to be done yet. Um, or maybe they're just gonna leave it there. That's interesting. That might be an interesting question to ask. But yeah, we've um, finally come to an end of M6 Junction 10. 78 million quid. Now just think about that, wow. Um, and it's all done by contractors it's not done by you know obviously 
I guess if the council were doing it, it would have been done twice as much. But why haven't, why haven't the government got its own building outfit, its own equipment? It's, everything was hired in, all the pieces of equipment was hired in, all the labour was hired in. Um, and everybody that was working for anybody, they were all making themselves a bit of profit, weren't they? And would it have made a difference? If it was the government and government employees working for a government contracting firm built it, would have they saved that much money? You know, I mean, they would have been on, you hope they would have been on, press the button, you hope they would have been on good money for doing this, because of course it's a temporary job, it's not a permanent job. But the boys that were working here, there's no doubt, moved on to the next um, road infrastructure project that they're doing because they're all you know there's lots of work to be done but boy oh boy he swallows money let me see if we can catch this bloke hello mate how are you, how are you? you're right yes, careful we... see dodgy <laughs> He thought, I'm not going to talk to that nutter. Yeah. <laughs> we were just going to ask him, was this a route that he usually uses? And has he missed it? But obviously, he knew to take the shortcuts. Or he knew to avoid me. Maybe that was a better, that was a better thing. Maybe he thought, oh, I'm not talking to that crackpot with a phone in his hand. is beautiful is it 78 million pounds beautiful oh dear me that's a lot of road tax that's a lot of money out of the system isn't it and has this been financed um oh look yeah it must be pretty grim yeah somebody's just squeezing by isn't they this there's trouble down the M. Junction 9, they said there was a car fire. Well, if you go down here and go down just one junction, there's a massive retail park. IKEA, B&Q, um, PC World, all them lots. It's a big shopping park down there. And it sucks in a oh, hell of a lot of traffic. A hell of a lot of traffic. And it's, it's queued quite the way back. But which is normal. Nothing. That's not a new. Having an MTM6, that's what's not normal. Yeah. Wow. Somebody um, fire, so they're going to have to shut the lane and re tarmac it and do whatever they got to do. I think it's a, a fire. I don't know if it was a truck fire or a car fire. But look, do you remember? We were watching them finish that corner off. I think that corner over there was about the last corner to be finished yeah and this is can you see here let's put it through there this is where the original bridge crossed that was here this 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 sticky out bridge thing here i'd say under there if you would dig down you would find uh, the, the remains of the original bridge so you know several several thousand years uh, archaeologists uh, archaeologicalists anyway people that dig the ground up will find that what are they called Archeolo archaeologicalists yeah one of them do you remember it was so funny running across so that we could see them working on here and we came along the footpaths here weren't we and we saw the men working and there was a big hole here to receive this. There's an awful lot of work, a lot of steel and a lot of concrete underneath our floor, underneath the floor here. As we, as we speak, we, um, lovely to document it. I might try and do a better job because I don't always entitle them the right name, do I? Now that path is open. Um, hey, look at this. We're here, no doubt there are cameras watching us, 
but they're not going to throw us off because the path is open. Ooh, now if we dare to go down that path, are they going to come up and get us and say, Oi, not you again? Because he did tell me. I think twice or three times I was uh, told to go hither and multiply, <laughs> which was sort of fair enough, I suppose. We saw them knocking down the bridge. We saw them with the choppers. Bang, 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 bang. And they put the sleepers on the floor and they, they, they cut the old bridge out, didn't they? Dropped it, made a concrete, and chopped it up and took it away and then cleared the floor. I mean, the pressure, the pressure to shut the motorway and reopen it. We've had one bib so far. Ooh, right, I expected a few more. Anyway, um, the pressure of dropping, shutting the motorway, the main M6, pulling the bridge down and then reopening it, taking two days to do it, that pressure must have been pretty mighty, wouldn't it? It's what you gotta do. And you've got no choice because we want it open for Monday morning. Wow. Here we are. Ambulance come in. So it is. It is a lot of lanes. And it can be confusing. Oh, look. How did that gate... It was open a minute ago, wasn't it? Now it's shut. Oh. Do dee do 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 dee do do The twilight zone. Who shut that gate? <laughs> yeah, I'll let the ambulance go by. But yeah, this is going to be trees and bushes. It's going to be, uh, and this is the, collect the water, oops. And this is going to collect the water here. Hmm, right, here we are. Now that must be annoying. Now, somebody's bibbed their horn because somebody's impatient somebody's whatever that must be quite annoying for the people living over the road there lots of bibbing and banging yeah i don't know were they promised a better shield that yes it's going to be nice when all them trees grow but it's going to take a long time for them to grow isn't it yeah anyway come on let's go back to where we came from using the correct path pressing the right button okay we've got a green light we will have a green light but you've still got a same as when you drive just to stay safe consider everybody being stupid just in case someone makes a mistake and runs you over so i might stand here i might have a green light but after all, is it my fault? Is it their fault for running me over? It's my fault for not taking enough care crossing on the green light. Mm. It's uh, when you come over here, the lane splits and you've got such a choice of lanes. It can be confusing if you've not been here, but at least you've got that look. There we are, look, bad. Not bad, just a bit confusing. You know, I've not been here before doing that sort of thing. I bet you that happens all the time. I'm going to wait here, actually. I've caught somebody else. So, we found a local. Yeah. Uh, have you found this This path is finally open? It's been shut for how long? It's shut for uh, two years. For a couple of years, yeah. Yeah. I'd well, say it's a lot better. Oh, yeah. To be honest Yeah, You get a lot more bibs, do you hear? Um, it's lovely looking, isn't it? Yeah, to be fair, I mean, it's like to see something brand new, yeah, isn't it? To be honest with you, I mean, the traffic's gone a bit quiet today. Quiet, sir. Yeah, and if I'm honest with you, other than that. But yeah. were, were you annoyed that this was shut for so long? Is it something you were using regular before? Not really, because I mean, it's probably a bit no more of a nightmare for like drivers this side, like, but. For me, no, not really. It didn't. Uh, no, not, don't affect me. To to me. But yeah, I knew it was shut for days. Yeah. If someone was regularly using it, you know. Yeah, I was seeing again to work and stuff like that as well. Mm. Um, I know it's a bit bad on the morning. Oh, it can still be yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's better to fix now. Yeah, yeah, to be I, I, I've, I've monitored it from when the steel beams arrived. Yeah, yeah. I mean, amazing. It's, a, it's good what they've done. Oh, yeah, clever, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And they've kept it running all the time. Yeah, yeah. How they've 
they knocked down one and built another built one and, and never really shut the junction, did they? No, they just got left one bit of it open didn't they yeah. so you can get round there yeah it was uh, yeah, to be fair. it took some to... but do you know it was 78 million quid yeah that's what this is cost that to cost yeah that's some money that is isn't it I, I seem to remember because uh, I've been here 25 years I seem to remember they were talking about it and it was going to cost 10 million it may have been 10 years it may have been 15 years ago well costs have risen at night 78 so, million to be fair oh, that's a, a lot, lot of money isn't it yeah a but it's a lot of stuff yeah to be fair i mean probably materials cost a bit as well oh yeah, and labor. obviously you've got the labor costs into it as well and they've been at it and you know sometimes you see roadworks and you don't see someone there was always somebody moving around doing something i thought i mean to be fair you do see them normally standing there twiddling the films <laughs> yeah <and that. laughs> but yeah. they were here weren't they there was yeah. there was always a little orange jacket somewhere i mean the the gardening, you know, the making the grass and oh, all yes, that. All the trees. Yeah. Stuff like that. It's going to look lovely in the next, say, up a few more years. All that part is there. Uh, and, and you don't realise how much wiring there is just for the traffic lights and the signs and everything else. It's all hidden. In the ground. It's, a bit of cables like that. it's amazing. Yeah. Are these sensors as well. Um. Yeah, I guess so. I don't really know. It's normally they've got sensors on the lights, don't they? To watch them. To watch them well. Uh, but yeah, there's cameras watching all yeah. the time. But yeah, it's amazing. It is. Yeah. To be fair. That's what I do. This is my last film now. Is it? Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I mean, they don't do it. I've seen people take pole tolls and pictures of all like buzzes and stuff, and then it's just memories, any. It? Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna turn. But yeah, we are crossing. We've had a bit of a speak, but ah, oh, you, when you cross, you've just got to bear in mind, just in case there's a nutter coming. You know what I mean? Just in case there's a crackpot coming. Yeah, and the bus lane is there. We thought they were going to put a single bus lane across. That might come at a later date, I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So that's the final film that I can image. You know, I might come back if I see something different. Um, but it's an amazing piece of infrastructure. Uh, and it better had be at that price. 78 million quid, wow. Wow, man. That's a lot of money, isn't it? That's a lot of overtime, that is. <laughs> and the rumor is, now I don't know if he's gonna be planning permission or what or whatever, and I'm guessing it's here. Um, Cause there was a hotel here that burned down I heard somewhere, and if this is the spot, I don't know, there's going to be a truck stop in here. But I don't know if that's continued or it was just an idea or, or what. I don't know. It would be a handy place. I don't know if the neighbours would have anything to say about it. But um, we'll see. Well, at the price of parking, you could afford to give the neighbours every truck that passes by and that's paying 30 odd quid to park, you could give the neighbours a pound each, couldn't you? And they'd still be, they'd still be happy. Yeah. Right, hold on. We love a, a Debbie story. So this is an article. Where, where's the article from, Debbie? Um, Express and Star. Written by? Oh, I don't know. Well, who published it? Daniel Walton. Right now, Debbie's just going to read the article out of the paper. Right, M6 Junction 10. 78 million upgrade and four years of upheaval. Oof. The major overhaul of the M6 Junction 10 cost 78 million and four years of work, so we decided to try it out. Walsall Council and National Highways West Midlands finally opened the lanes of the M6 Junction 10 island in Walsall on Thursday, mark marking the completion of the Mammoth project, project. However, as all lanes are finally opened, I decided to take a drive on the reworked island to see if it made any difference. The junction has been under heavy scrutiny by residents since it announced the upgrade and works started in March 2020, <coughs> with some residents saying the project was a waste of time. A Walsall resident, as a Walsall West resident, I was also a re regular user of the new island to get to the Wolverhampton Express and Star offices. So I decided to let my out of town friend, Sam, drive the route to get a fresh take on the island. 
Approaching from Wolverhampton Road, we were both shocked at how little traffic was actually forming around the island. 10 a.m. is notoriously a busy time for the Junction 10 and Walsall Town Centre was holding an Easter festival on that day, which should have added to the regular traffic issues. Entering the junction, we decided to come back on ourselves doing a full 360 turn, which would mean having to cross the complete island and utilising all of the new lanes. Sam, originally from Walsall, but now living in a small hamlet near Bangor in Wales, Ooh. was thrown by the size of the island and the number of lanes, saying it was a bit confusing. He said, it was a bit confusing. There's tons of lanes to cross to get back onto yourself. It's a bit scary when you first look at it, but it's fairly well marked. There was a bit of an issue right at the end there. You have to move over three lanes to get into the correct one. It felt a little dangerous and pressured, but it was all right in the end. The island features four lanes with the divider branch that splits traffic between the exit of the M6 Black Country route and the Wolverhampton Road to remain on the junction. Honestly, I'm glad there was no traffic. If there was, I would probably have had to go around again, but it seems the island did the job. It seemed there was hardly anyone on it. Once again, you have done it once or twice. I could imagine it actually being easy, but it's quite jarring the first time. The island also features a number of traffic management lights, which Sam adds to the pressure. The lights made it seem you only had a short amount of time to make your move. I could imagine you relying on someone letting you in. It's not bad, the majority of it really good but it does rely on you being in the right lanes to start with. But yeah, it's quite good. However, it may be a different story at peak rush hour and when the kids are going back to school. We'll have to go there then. Junction was completed on Thursday and cost uh, repairs and upgrades coming to 78 million. <sighs> Let us know what you think. Yeah, hmm. Well, we come from Carnarvon just round the corner from Bank, don't we? <laughs> well, just outside Carnarvon, anyway. Small world, isn't it? Mm. So, uh, yeah, let me uh, put in your comments if you're watching this and uh, you've been watching it, uh, see what you think. Thank you very much, Debbie. We love Debbie time, don't we? You've just been eating some hot cross buns, haven't you? It's a hot cross bun, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. We love Debbie time. <laughs>